Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh, hi there, everyone. How's your day been? Not too bad, I hope. That's the spirit. For it can only get better if you want it to. And watching this video is the first step. I'm Cameron, I'll be bringing you today's walkthrough of Alice Madness Returns for CNSX Gamers channel. As you might have noticed, I was carrying out deep breathing exercises, which is a part of yoga. It's a, yoga is a type of aerobic exercise focused on improving the body and relaxing the mind. I use deep breathing exercises to calm myself in order to better cope with a situation in gaming or real life that requires deep thought. That's why in past playthroughs you're likely to have heard me um, carrying out deep, heavy breathing over the mic. With that said, now you understand why I se tend to get through these gameplays rather quickly. I mean, it's not that they're too hard to work out what needs to be done, it's that sometimes you overlook the obvious. And what and what you may not have noticed or realised yet is we're actually still in only chapter one. I've got the arms you need. Well, strictly speaking, the hatter needs them. Well, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to crush you. I am gonna get rid of that mouse only because it kept making the really, really aggressively annoying conversations earlier. I mean, at least it's marginally funny with its joke about arms and how some like it hot, but not this hot. Me, I'm more of a fan of the snow, so I didn't like it hot at all. I'm, I'm going with the natural assumption in this game that if you destroy anything that can attack you, then the stage opens up. As I said before, um, if I encounter anything that I don't understand at first, or that I think you may not understand, I'll try and put it in, you know, a speech bubble at some point in the game to explain what it means, what that word means, or something. Otherwise, um, near the end of the playthrough, I'll put up a speech bubble with a word I don't think you would have encountered before and an explanation of what it means. It's uh, better to expand your mind, really, than to just allow it to go dull. I mean, some solutions are just a jump and a skip and a daisy chain butterfly jump thing away. I think I think part of that was a famous speech of some kind. It certainly a thing was said the path less travelled. But proving its point or whatever. This does look you know, if we didn't have shrink mode this would be incredibly hard, except for the fact the teeth are basically showing you the way. It's still quite small to get. Okay, now this may get hard because if we fall in the stream of lava, we're gone. And those teapot things are quite dangerous when they want to be. So when you take them down, my well, main focus is obviously on um, the teapots because I know it's going to blink open its eye eventually. Ah, the local traps have finally helped us. Do you notice there that 
That must have been the hands from dropping lava. It, it actually killed the creature. Now, that is a really big bit of luck there, really, isn't it? You beat the creature, then by some miracle, the case which was covering that just suddenly breaks off. I spent a while earlier trying to work out how to actually get to the next stage. It wasn't until after about five minutes I realised there were bits and pieces floating down the lava river there. Let's try and get this over with then, shall we? So we're going to turn some more stuff into cold lava. So are they the ones beyond the corruption? I can't believe it. I mean, they're meant to be the hatters, you know. That mouse is clearly meant to be tight with the hatter. Because I swear it was like, when you go to the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, and they're like a, it's either a mouse or a gerbil, and a hare, I think, not. it's not the rabbit, it's a hare. That thing's obviously a very strange sounding mouse. I'm wondering, do we jump down the same hatch that the hand jumped down? You know, the mouse went down or... You know, can't go that way, I guess. Why don't we just lift the platform? Well, since I've, I, it doesn't look like we can go anywhere else, I'm just going to follow where those hands went. If anything, we may actually find some sort of secret treasure hidden away. Hopefully another memory shard. Hope the machine sent us to the right place. until I'm completely reconstructed. No resting on laurels living. Shay's lounge is ming folding chairs. Uh, stools. Uh, uh. Uh, he's quite a big fan of luxury, isn't he? But at least he's got the right kind of spirit. No no lolly gadding wagging your tongue saying I'll oh, thank you for the job. It's straight back to business, let's find what did this to Alice's Wonderland. Well, I like the hatter, he's a straightforward guy. If a little crazy. And sometimes hard to understand. By the way, I was looking earlier for a reference to that line they said, the path less travelled. There's actually quite a few things it could reference to. The oldest one being a poem called The Path Not Travelled or something like that. But I don't think it would... I didn't quite read that poem, so I don't think it would be referencing that. But I did find information about a book to do with psychology that came out in the late 70s. And it's my belief that that may be what this was trying to reference, um, even if it was by accident. So when there's like a lull in the text, so when it's like a black screen with the keys on it, I'm going to show their actual information you know like all of it about um, the book and potentially what he's trying to say psychologically speaking I just worry if this if it appears like it's um, I'm just trying to educate you on some points of psychology Almost didn't enjoy my teacup ride. Cranking up and pressing up. Hmm. That doesn't sound particularly. The dimensions of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Okay, so clearly some sort of symbol they're saying. 
see the thing. Well, that wasn't too hard. Oh, that boot on the side, I think, has it. There we are. This is using my head a bit more than it usually would be, so it is quite tiring. Now I'm going to try and work out what this one's saying. It's going to probably annoy me. The industry thrives on suffering, obsolescence, and ruination. It's made the East End into a privy. Consider a simple farm life in Australia, perhaps. We might liquidate what remains of your inheritance. What a delightfully nice psychiatrist. Telling you that you shouldn't live in England because... You know, the Industrial Revolution is built on suffering. Although I have always been partial to farming. I'm not going to lie, I've got a green thumb. That's not a medically wrong thing, that doesn't mean that I should probably get it checked out, it's gangrene. It just means that I'm good at planting and nurturing nature. Which is... It's a very delightful thing. If I mean, there's very few um, common pleasures that a person can enjoy, like going into their garden and just planting. Okay, where do we need to head now? That looks like it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, that looks dangerous. How did this factory ever get approved for production? Don't even, I, all the time we've been here, I still don't know what it actually produces. Oh. Ah. The camera wouldn't switch round. I'm not making excuses. Well, maybe I am. Yeah, camera's back. Right. Got to make this fast. Don't want to die. Very peculiar setup in this whole place. What we got? Oh. Okay, so touching it will kill you. That's not fair. That should just give them a light headache. Probably still been able to keep going. I do find it interesting how useful the bunny bomb is. I'm going to assume by that pitch we saw there that we will encounter the hare soon because I don't think it'll be the rabbit. I think we saw. Uh, we haven't seen the rabbit at all, have we, really? And he's going to be quite a main character. But that picture didn't so show a rabbit with a watch, so pretty sure we're going to. It's the hare we're about to see. This is this is gonna be annoying to navigate. I do not like it when they time these things, it means you have to think slightly faster than usual. It's a good thing this is at the moment it's just straightforward, but if it becomes more complicated my word. Okay, they're straightforward, going to mini mode. Oh, See, I have the reasoning that if you don't want to risk running through it, just do the butterfly, um, like the dodge move, because it's quicker than running, isn't it? And I really cannot trust my timings running-wise, so definitely we're going to be doing a little butterfly floating. Uh-oh. No, 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 don't close. No, no! Oh, controller died on me.